Hi everyone, I'm doing a little haul. It's not much, but I've just been to my local antique shop and I found a few bits and pieces. So I thought I'd show you, I'd share with you. Um, I got these um, first day covers, which are stamp collections. Uh, they were all re reduced to a pound. Well, not reduced, some of them are a pound anyway, but they were all a pound. So I picked these up. This has got this card inside, which so the, to explain the um, the collection and why they've chosen that imagery, I, I assume. I haven't actually looked at it or read through it. Um, this one I was really happy with. This one was actually priced at £12. So to get that for a pound, I was really, really happy with that. Um, Christmas 1980. I was looking for 1985. That's my birth year. This came as a set of two, so she charged me £2, so a pound each. Um I liked this one really for this. I love this tree here. And I like this green here as well. So I've got those two. Those two envelopes are sealed. They've just got cards inside. Probably just to make them a bit sturdier. So I'll, I'll cut the top of them and open them up. This is just an envelope which has been posted. Just this person. And it's got that collection on there. There are different variations of these stamps, but I chose this one because I liked that image there. Uh, number rhymes. Uh, I love the old Ladybird books and I'll use a lot of these pages in different junk journals. Um, I will be making them throughout the year so and I mainly picked this one up now because right at the very back I'm not so many images. Oh look at that see. Yeah right at the back they've got uh, 12 days of Christmas. So again, this image and the actual rhyme itself. Uh -huh. and you've got the music there. So yeah, that I'll, I'll be using in my Christmas journal, I should think. This I was really, really chuffed with. It doesn't look like much. It's a recipe book, but it's all typewritten. Oh, how 50, bargain. So it's a recipe book and it's all this typewriter font really really liked it and and it had these like random bits and pieces there's only two of these things they they're obviously been torn out of like really old magazines so this one's a woman's own look cookbook pastry stage by stage so i thought oh i love that i would do like some sort of like cookery sort of themed book I thought I'll I'll have a flip through here. Oranges and rum sauce. That could be sort of festive. Can the orange and lemon cheesecake? Um, it might be something to do with turkey in here, or I don't know. It was just too good to pass up. I think. Past look. Veal. Gosh. Yeah, I was really really happy with that beef. And that chicken. So yeah, I shall be using a few of them. I look. I just love the text that one this one i'm really happy about i didn't actually look at this before i bought it i just saw the cover saw that it was christmas and thought yep i'll have that Made that aside two pounds this is a book um two shillings look one shilling ah i'm guessing that's the cost of it and terrible two shillings so it's a i don't know if it's a story or the cover's not attached but look look at that that imagery is amazing. It's sort of snowy, or the holly in it. Oh, it's on such night like thick paper. And frame these images, the reds, the greens, the, the tones of them, the robins in the picture. I'm guessing these are cow singers of some sort, <laughs> some description. And the holly around here, look, and the church. Look at that. Looking at the doors. It's all it's lovely. I don't understand why these blank pages are in between, but and look at that with the tree on it and all dressed up in the bed in their finest. Love it. Watching her. I guess that's the story of Mary and Joseph and the three kings. I think that looks like to me. Some little one can say, Oh, look, see? Oh, I really chuffed that I went there today. I wasn't going to. That, that I'm really happy with. This isn't necessarily Christmassy, 
but I liked the fact that it was green. There are a few different variations, but I liked that this one was green. Um, and it's just music sheets. So we all have a bit of music paper, don't we? So I should be using a few of those as ephemera. That was a pound. Um, right, this is the last thing I got from the antique shop. Well, I'm not sure what's in here because it literally came like that. I haven't even seen what's inside. It was £3.50, extra large bundle, of random magazine pages and articles. And I liked this one because there were a few different ones. I like this one because of the pearls. And a desire to please plus a dash of imagination and a plan. That's what makes for successful presents. And here's some guidance to help. So I thought that was rather fitting for Christmas. So if there's nothing festive in here, that's at the very least might be able to go in a Christmassy themed junk journal. Oh, wow, look, and these are proper like they're like proper paper. They're not they're not like reproductions or anything. They're not printed. I mean, look at that. <gasps> the novel Christmas decorations make good presents. Look, so there is Christ it's Christmassy. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Color on your table. Look, table mats. Too cozy. So I guess that can be used as like table decorations for Christmas. Side close up. It doesn't have a date or anything. It doesn't say what sort of magazine or brochure or whatever it came from. Love that. I've got it the wrong way around because I wanted to look at that one first. Ask Evelyn home. Oh look, strategy and marriage. <laughs> it's like an advice column. 1700 styling. <laughs> I don't know, there's no date on it. Look for Christmas, look, famous perfumes direct from Paris. Port, that's a Christmassy drink of the Red Wars one. And then savings box, let's talk about you. Are you a bore? <laughs> I love that. In that moment, it's like she's living a fashion. Mm. Wow. Is. Talking turkey, look. Oh my gosh, I'm so pleased that I picked this one up. There are a few, like I said, there are a few different variations, but this one, I mean, that's, that is Christmas, isn't it? Turkey. Here's the bowl of trimmings, the happiest feast of the year. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. So happy. <laughs> Christmas is coming and we're in the mood, look. Gift next week. Oh my gosh. Also, it's a it's woman look. It's saying that it's advertising what's in next week, so it's woman. If anyone's heard of that, or that means anything to anybody. What's the party dress? Strange encounters. Lots of stories. Like, I guess that's the only way women fantasize about anything in those days. To the internet and TV. <laughs> we to fix look. Presents and people look, gift buying. Always knees in the counters. Oh my gosh, look. Oh look, Halloween, I did say in one of my previous um, videos, or well, I, I filmed filmed another video, like a craft from it. I, I was saying about Halloween. I'm doing a Halloween journal for next year. That would be handy. That video will either be before this or after this probably after this actually now because this will be a quick one knit him socks there we go classic <laughs> love some cindy lou oh my gosh i'll go a bit quicker spirit of the season oh my god look look <laughs> oh i'm so chuffed i really did pick the right one i mean it was rolled up you saw how it was it was rolled up i mean i couldn't even see what was inside it to know that it was like, it had a festive stuff in it. Aha! A grand book every month for only four and sixpence look. Oh my gosh. Nylons. Mmm. Okay. Going home. Dressmaking. Let's talk about you. That'd be it. interesting. Oh, hello. <laughs> Pop some mistletoe above that image. Festive, you see? Fruit salads, Jamaica trifle there. 
Nice. Pack in a pretty package. Oh look, gift wrapping. Beauty is her business. Right. Let's look at all Quaker oats. Gosh, we've done that price now. <laughs> Just bought some of them in Morrison's. And they were one and five pence. <laughs> one and a half, is it half a penny? Could that be half a penny actually? I was born plain. Oh my life. Gosh. I wonder women have had to struggle through the years. Out of a stereotype. Night out. Forty goes out in London. Wow. Home and away. Oh gosh, I thought this was going to be quick, but going through all these, I'm just too excited. I need to go through them all. Dream of your dress. A comb and brush for Christmas. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Spice and her chart. Wow. I like that, that'll go well with that um, recipe book. Do it. I love it. Oh, Queen. She's very young then. Next week you read about the visits to Malta and Canada. So, wow, this was a while ago then. Very old. So you'll laugh when I tell you how we met. Oh my goodness, my leg. Love story. I told there is two ways about it. This one has some proofs on the star for distinction. Oh, well, there's a pattern there. Party piece. And then there's a, a knitting pattern there. Like that. Have a long nose. Oh, look what hairstyle to choose. 1940s, 50s style. There's more skin than meets the eye. Oh my goodness me, they're happy marriage. Best possible style. Oh, more that beauty look. Hat to neckline. The makeup tips look. There's other shadow rule. Seems shorter the length of the nose. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. And you're giving Christmas warmth. Something about Christmas. I'm like for a Christmas doll. I'm going to have to scan these in before I start cutting them up and use them. Using that one. Gifts again. A little woman. Telephone, temple bar, 100 lines. Born London doesn't have a date. Oh, here we go. Look, highlights of this issue volume 31, November 29th, 1952. Wow, collation evaporated milk <laughs> standard. <laughs> oh, great throats. Oh, no, it's still the same price. Real babies, cow and gate. Huh? Can do like um baby. Um, they have those. This must be for the same thing. Um, maybe will be good for a obviously a baby book, baby journal, like a first year journal. Knitting patterns and things like that. Good. Okay, free crossword. Margaret's husband. No. <laughs> Fortune telling. Fortune telling for your parties. Oh, well. Entertainment at its best. <laughs> oh, that's it. I love it. Oh, I love the snowman look. Stuffings and sauces. There's no doubt on this one. I love that. And all this for £3.50. 
look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Oh wow, I'm gonna leave that out. I'm gonna leave that at the top. I'll put that aside because that, that is just I'm gonna have to start scanning these in a minute. Because I'm too excited and I want to start cutting them up and playing with them. Press coral. Wow. Mm -hmm. The Bible in pictures. Ideal for Christmas if you reserve now. I looked at a Bible and wondered whether to get one today. Like an old one to tear it because it's a bit of Christmas all about Jesus and the birth of Christ. So I was wondering, but I didn't. Let's get one. I've got Holly Lynn, the bells, all the trimmings. And I'll tell you that. Oh, Maltesers, that's what I go in. It's my mum's favourite. Her um, Maltesers. So they always remind me of Christmas because she always gets a big box of them from my dad. How's that come for me? Press empty glass. Oh wow, look. Who am I? Very special people. It's, it's outside. Wool time. Oh. Again, more knitting patterns. Sorry, I'm knocking you. Knitting patterns. Lovely. Really, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm really happy with that. <laughs> like, yeah. I get it. Happy, happy, happy. And these are a few bits from the actual craft shop, so there's not much in here. I found this ball of ribbon. I thought this would be nice for like journaling pool tabs and stuff. And it's you know, green and red stripes, the gold edging, which I quite liked. So that's just a pound. It's like an off cut they had. I had this one as well. I ordered that. This is the, is it wired? Yeah, I think it is. Look, I'll probably take the wires out though. Yeah, look, there you can see it. I normally take the wires out. And I was thinking of adding this on an edge as like a little tuck space or again, tabs. Quite like that. I just liked the um, pattern. I've got some more of this. I've got some of this in my journal already. I just, I like this. So because I was over that way, I picked some more up. I've got a ribbon. Found this washi tape as well. Look at it. So I like to washi things in, like tippings and things. And I quite like this as kind of like a, a watercolour um, holly design, which is quite nice a lot of the washies that I've got I've had over the years I've built up really for the kids so they're quite cartoony I, th I find a lot of the Christmassy stuff is quite cartoony yeah I like that that's nice so it's nice to see some bits like that oh I got some these snowflake buttons got just a few of those they're like 20 feet each and I've got some more charms as well. I've got these little Christmas trees. Oh, dangly bits. I just picked these up as and went. They're quite expensive, really. You know, and I only, I just, I only really want one or two. But you have to buy a load of them. You can't just buy as many as you need. So I've got some little Christmas trees. And I've got these bells. I like the bells as well. And I'm going to do, I'm going to try and go at uh, felting again. So I've got Christmassy esque colours. I'm thinking of doing some snowflakes and then some holly. And I just got some replacement needles for my felting tool. £2.50 look. I'm hoping they fit, but if they don't, I should just use them individually. So I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to do some holly. Um, and I'm thinking that I can do like a holly dangle. Um, I've got this. Um, which is my the start of my junk journal for next year, actually. Um, and I crocheted this and stuck it on, which I really like. Um, but I think this will look equally as nice if it was felted. So I'm thinking of doing one that's felted. Um, and I might, it turns out okay. I've taken the ring off here for the minute, but I'm going to add the ring back on and just hang it off there. So we'll see. We'll see how we get on. It'll probably end up nothing like that. But... Yeah, and this is merino 
Well, these are three for five pounds, so I just got those colours. That's why I have the random white one. So yeah, that's my little haul um, from today. So I'm going to go and scan these bits in and start seeing what I can come up with with all these nice little gems. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one.